do I do I play games off camera? Yeah, I do. Um, not so much as I used to, to be totally honest with you. In fact, uh, when I'm playing games and I'm not recording them, I'm starting to feel a little bit guilty. Um, you know, I should be recording it. I should be making a let's play out of it. I should be doing stuff for my channel. Yeah, stuff like that. But um, right, I play. I have a private RimWorld game. Uh, what else do I play? I play a bit of Space Engineers. And um, I was playing just before I came on here. I was actually playing Spore. Eat some of this mushroom stew. There we go. Uh, one, two. Uh, but no, I don't play much anymore. Uh, most of what I'm doing is either to be recorded or setting up for recordings. Oh, and um, Kerbal Space Program. I play that a lot as well. I don't feel I don't feel guilty about it. I just feel that I could be more productive. This uh, this world doesn't have seagulls, so the chickens have evolved to fill the cavity. Love it. So anyway, yeah, we um we eventually conquered the uh, um the the the, uh, the underwater temple, and we've been stripping out and. In order to speed things up, I started building these bridges the other day, so every day or so I've been coming out here and no if they, if they were if they were swimming upside down, they'd be ducks. You see what I mean um you mean about uh, me leaving crafting benches everywhere? I tell you, if we run this server for a few years, you're not going to be able to move for crafting benches. Right, so, and here's the other island I've named. Welcome to Stumpy Island. Because it's Stumpy. Right, this is, actually, this was really good. We got totally lost looking for this place, and the only way we found it was because that island was basically on fire at the time. Oh, good question. What is my favourite TV series? Now, I'm going to tell you something, okay? Uh, I'm... Apart from the computer, I'm pretty much off the grid. I don't own a landline anymore. Let's speed this up a little bit. I don't own a landline anymore, and I hardly ever watch television. Um, I, in fact, my television is currently not connected to any sort of outside uh, signal because I'm in the process of moving it about. Um, so, but I still watch a couple little bits of TV, and I'd say... My favourite TV series is... Can you, can you guys hear that? That's the Guardians. That's the Guardians being nasty to squid. So we've got to run past here before they start shooting us. Yeah, so my favourite TV series is Doctor Who. Though I must admit, I'm kind of going off that at the moment. I'm not too keen... Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ooh, just... Uh, I'm not too keen on the last few series, to be totally honest with you. Um, and the only other thing I really watch on the TV, apart from the occasional bit of news, is actually the Eurovision Song Contest, which I find absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that's the only. That's the reason why I cut off my phone. Um, was you know I was paying twenty two pounds a month basically for people to phone me up and sell me insurance for things that I don't have or I'm not interested in. But yeah, this is this is getting a bit mined out, but you can see the basic design. And these are oh, pretty funky in here. And the materials are quite nice. Favorite doctor Tom Baker, fourth doctor. Yeah, I think everybody's favourite is the one that um, they discovered Doctor Who about, and um, Tom Baker was my Doctor. He was the he was the first one I encountered. Have I played any of the Civ games? And what do I think of Civ Beyond Earth? Okay, Civilization. Civilization was the uh, the thing that made me go out and buy my first sound card. Because I thought 
it was you know everyone was going on about how good the music was so i went out and bought a midi card and plugged it into my computer tied it up uh i tied it all together which was really complex in those days to be totally honest you loaded up civ and it sounded not exactly the same so but yeah i've played every single civ game and i'm in the process of um getting together with a few people which we'll be doing after the age of wonders series which i'm doing yeah i thought lost me boots uh, after the Age of Wonders series, uh, we're going to be doing um, Civ Beyond Earth. I haven't actually played it yet, but I will be getting it soon and playing it. It looks pretty good, uh, with reservations. Um, okay, that, this is degenerated into a conversation about the, uh, the Doctors. Hmm... Yeah, the the regenerations will become a bit cheesy now, I think. Uh, I quite agree with you there. Ah, right, I'm above where I need to go. In fact, you know what? We can go around, or we can just make a hole. Let's just make a hole. And it's not like I'm not mining this place to the bedrock anyway. Which is pretty much why I come here. I just pick up a couple of stacks of this stuff and go back and whack on my merry way. Um... Nobody seems to particularly like this stone that much, but I'm sure we'll find a use for it. Perhaps we want a bathroom to tile or something like that. Okay, let's hop back in here. Yep, yeah, well, that'll be happening. It won't be happening anywhere soon, because we've got to finish the Age of Wonders, and admittedly... As bad as Locke and I are playing, it might happen fairly soon, but uh, uh, we'll see. The Day of the Doctor was awesome. Yes, the Day of the Doctor was not that bad. The fact they managed to tie in so many different Doctors is brilliant. Uh, my second favourite Doctor... Um, this might surprise people. I think it was actually... Uh, um, the Eighth Doctor, you know, M McGann, um, the guy who did the films. Um, the, the guy who did that horrible American film. I mean, I think, to be totally honest with you, that was, that was absolutely terrible, that, that film. It was, uh, it wasn't a real Doctor who didn't have the right feel to it. But the, the thing was, after it got canned, he went off and did dozens, in fact, possibly hundreds of Doctor Who radio plays and he really did a lot to keep Doctor Who alive while uh, it was no longer on TV and that to me was very impressive and he made a very good Doctor in many ways uh, once he um, got away from those horrible American scriptwriters. I'm sorry if you're an American but uh, uh, I'm afraid that uh, the Doctor Who went to Hollywood and basically got butchered uh, yeah, that's going to make me unpopular, isn't it? Okay, all right. Uh, let me throw a question back at you guys. You all seem to be Doctor Who fans. So what was your favourite um, companion? Or assistant, if you prefer the older Doctor Who's. And if you guys tell me yours, then I'll tell you mine. Oh, yeah, we're going a bit further out. K9, good choice. <laughs> uh, Don and o I actually didn't particularly like Don Noble as an assistant, but... Oh, yeah. Clara, now there's a controversial choice. I think you might be pretty much alone there. Most people don't seem to like her. Right, there we go. Uh, screech, moment. Down here, laid in this path so it's easy to find a way through. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we had a, a visit here. Right. My favourite 
companion was hardly ever in the series and it was actually Bernard Cribbins who played Donna Noble's father. Or was it grandfather? One or the other. Um, I'll actually agree with you. That, uh, I'll actually agree with you there. It was the, the, the script hasn't done justice to any of the Doctors. Ooh, there we go. Um... <laughs> um, yeah, they did, it hasn't done. Uh, okay, right. I was like, yeah, Bernard Cribbins. I thought he was really good. He was a good pathos to the Doctor. Um, I should go to bed with me. Didn't bring a bed with me. Hey, well, let's just run through. I want to get through here and out the other side. Because it's not actually this I want. I want the desert this time. I want a couple of stacks of sand. We go down here. Going. going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, there's got to be at least one creeper blowing up behind me per episode. Run south because I was going the wrong way. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Oh. There we go, that's what I want. Oochie loochie sand. Lots and lots of creepers. And the sun is rising. Excellent. Oh, somebody's been busy. Go away. Good. I've made myself, bought myself stuff because I've realised I forgot to bring a decent uh, pickaxe with me. But I only want a couple of stacks, so this shouldn't take too long. Uh, put that bowl. Let's put down a crafting table because honestly, I don't want to go down there. Well, okay. Come on, look. You see the sun over there? Look over there. Over there. You see it? The sun. Yeah, you're supposed to be dead. You just can't get the staff these days. Grab a couple of those. Junk. Where do I get ink sacks from? I don't know. Wooden bowls, don't need those. There we go, that's some space for a couple of stacks of sand. We're just going to grab this, we'll put this to cook when we get back, and then we'll start looking at the, uh, um, what's it? Do we do uh, oh yeah station that's the word For some reason I kept on wanting to say TARDIS I have no idea why oh well actually let's make some space here and if we just create a cut get a couple of stacks we can see it now didn't take too long okay any more questions I'm quite liking this at the moment. I'm thinking I'm thinking of doing one of those uh, digging episodes where I ask you guys to ask me questions and I answer them while going caving or something like that. Anyway, what we're going to do is this has gone a long way to get some sand, but it's the best place to consistently get some. Um, we're just going to go back, we're going to put this in, we're going to cook it up, we're going to mix it with some lapis and I think some bone meal to make some light blue glass. And what well, is, to be totally honest with you, it's, it's quite a relaxing way to pass the time. Oh, I see we've got our two stacks, let's just finish this little bit and get out of here. 
Uh, how long have I been playing Minecraft? I started playing Minecraft in April. April of this year. So I've hardly played any of it at all. And... I showed... Mandarin Moon some of my early worlds and quite frankly it was uh, all rubbish. So I starting I'm starting to feel like I'm getting the hang of this game a little bit. I'm be able to make reasonable builds that aren't too rubbish. I know pretty much what I'm talking about. I'm starting to learn how to use redstone, bits and pieces like that. So got a long way to go. But getting there in general. <laughs> I haven't even noticed. <laughs> yeah, Mandarin Moon just pointed out I left the crafting table behind. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, up here. Now I need to find out where the portal is. Do I play on any prison servers? No, I don't. Um, this has been the first time I've actually played on a multiplayer world. And I'm running this world myself. It's actually running on a server which is currently warming my feet, believe it or not. Where am I? I'm slightly lost. I need to go that way, so let's head over there. Eee. <laughs> Death from above! <laughs> yeah, I'll find it. If not, I'll just have to ask the admin, uh, uh, server admin for a teleport. Pretty obliging bloke to server admin. Tends to do anything I ask. He's a nice guy. Up here. Ooh. Ooh, ender pearl. Excellent. I was looking for another one of those. All right, see you soon. Right. One thing that hampers me with these games an awful lot is I have absolutely no sense of direction whatsoever. In fact, if, to be honest with you, it's not even that good. Down here. Did in. Did in. Did Enderman. Lost Simon. Oh, that looks promising. Of course, yeah, I've got to be careful of 50 foot holes down here, don't I? Dying because somebody made a giant hole in the ground. Oh look, I can follow a trail of crafting benches I've left behind home. Yeah! Oh, nothing I'm interested in. Alright, let's go back down here. There here we go. Alright, we'll head back to um, the centre, we'll get this stuff cooking, and then we'll actually do something. I know, and admittedly, we're an hour into the live stream. And all we've really done is... I like the...
the red clay, okay? I just didn't like the plummet to my death that happened afterwards. <laughs> oh dear, we are turning into an old married couple, you and I. <laughs>